13 days until the spring football game. It's cold outside, but for the team, it's business as usual. Everything that we do exclusive, make sure that it's all inclusive. I was taught make no excuses, as a man you can't be useless. Man up cause these people ruthless. Down, these thoughts clueless Lobster Mac, I'm up at Roof Chris, from my tone You peep the smoothness In this world you get the loot Then your dreams is gonna be lucid Fool me one time, shame on you Second time, you gonna be foolish All that BS for the birds That come to me, I'm chucking deuces I stay loyal to the soil You never out here breaking truces On this road, it's bumps and bruises Either you move smart or stupid Nike's on my feet, yeah And I got a couple swooshes We ain't have a choice, really It was either sports or music Came Day by day, brick by brick the mission continues. Now we just gotta go, and all you guys are doing we've had this problem in the past is right you're trying to fake and drop at the same time here shuffle shuffle quicker and if it's here and I'm in the red zone if it's here in the red zone and I just rocker step and I have to throw it that's fine you've already got depth it's different than 70s that's what I'm trying to say the play action stuff okay the play fake will help us in our protection and the protection design is completely different it's a slide the other way since his return to Ashland in 2011, Tom Stacy has led notable quarterbacks such as Travis Tarnowski and Austin Brenner. Their dual threat skill sets have allowed the Eagles to attack on the ground and through the air, making the Eagles offense a force to be reckoned with, averaging 30 points per game and over 4,200 yards and 40 touchdowns. Ashland going for it to the corner of the end zone and a catch by Keyshawn Jones falling backwards. He holds on as he hits the turf in the end zone for a touchdown, Eagles. Well executed, Keyshawn goes up. Having faced significant adversity in the 2021 season, the Eagles were forced to adopt a next man up mentality. With three different starters combining for exactly 2,000 passing yards over 10 games. Each guy brings a different little craft to the table, uh, but like I said, we, we have trust in all, all three guys, Trent, Cam, Brenner, and then even Trevor coming in now. Um, all four of those guys, they're uh, big time players. No matter who's in the, uh, on the field, uh, we can trust with them making the right play for sure. Trevor Bozinski is a high profile newcomer to the Ashland University football program who arrives with a Division I football pedigree after transferring from the University of Buffalo. Trevor is the newest member of a four-person quarterback room and has been welcomed with open arms by returners like Austin Brenner and Trent Maddox. The quarterback room is a collaborative effort between coach and student athlete. Being a successful quarterback is as much mental as it is physical. It's about fearlessness, tireless preparation, clear communication, and being able to step up when called upon. Python rip, Python rip, Python rip. Yep, eight, there you go. Here you go, Eli. Red race, son. Tutty. Tutty. The, the team bond in the locker room is awesome. We are all, we're all friends, we're all, we're all one, and it's just, it's just great to have relationships with those guys. When we go to battle on the field and also in the locker room when we get out of practice, um, just to have those friendships that are gonna last a lifetime, it's just, it's just cool to have those, those friendships. Trent took over the reins under center midway through the Eagles' 2021 season and threw for 577 total yards and six touchdowns. Um, there's a lot that goes through your head. You, uh, I'm just a year ago, I was playing high school football, and all of a sudden, I'm playing against these guys who are men. You know, um, 
you know, we played Tiffin the next week, one of the better defenses in the in the GMAC, and, and there, there were a lot to handle. I think the, the best thing was the supporting cast. The guys really rallied around me. They helped me give confidence. Um, obviously, our offensive line and receiving core and running backs, tight ends, we, we were really a veteran team, which I think helped me out a lot. I know that every day he puts the team first. Um, that's just what he's always done. He's just always been that guy that he, um, he makes every decision based around how it's going to affect all of the other people that he is part of a team with and, and leading. Um, he takes that role really seriously and he has since he was a, a small person. Um, it's been very important to him. I know he spends a lot of time in the gym. I know he spends a lot of time um, building relationships with people and um, studying the playbook and just, you know, Every role of that responsibility he takes really seriously. He's, he's a competitor, um, just always has been. And what I watched was a, a, a kid grow into a college quarterback because of everybody else around him. Um, and that supporting cast, um, if you go back and watch the film, you can see people constantly talking to him and encouraging him and letting him know through those words that, hey, it's not just you. We're going to do this thing together, right? And it, it was um, it was pretty impressive to watch. Over there, I saw it. I just over there. To work some routes. Over there, <laughs> you can even throw that thing over on that jump pad, and, and I'll run and grab it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me get one. Let me get one. Let me get one. I'll take one. Cool, nice to see you, baby. Huh? Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Wait, another one? Another one up here? Another one over here? Another one right here? It's my happy spot. Um, there's not many places I go. Um, and I'll be ha I'm, I'm the happiest I am when I'm out there with my boys, with my family, and playing the game I love. You ain't gonna make it over there. They're calling double move. Later. <laughs> Both on the field and off the field, Garrett Turnbaugh has a larger-than-life presence. I don't, I mean, I don't think I can ever breathe when I'm around that guy because I can't stop laughing. Um, he's just, he's just a great guy to be around. Um, and he's, he's entertaining. He's entertaining to be honest. So I think, I think that if I had to choose one person, um, I'd have to go, I'd have to go with Turbo. Um, he light, he, he's a, he's a light to every room that he ever walks into. He's a spark plug. <laughs> That's what they need to play every time we catch a deep ball. Hey, gasolina. not just talk, he's got the game to back it up. His play style rests on quick burst agility, unmatched toughness, and intensity. Oh, back my skin. Oh, oh, yeah. oh there we go. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my God, bro! Be careful where you're placing them fingers, bro. Get, 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 get. Oh! Whoa. Oh! Oh! There you go. Oh! This is called. That is called. Uh, I really don't even know. Sir Jake, get us out. Get us out. Gang on three, one, two, three. Gang. Gang. Nope. Well, yeah, I'll be wow. We're not in no more. Big boys ain't beating us up no more. They're pretty nice today. Well, the thing is when they do the, so if they want to go scan to our bunch, they got to make sure they don't call a 39 if we're lined up wrong, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I Me and Isaac, you're the same. You and Isaac you're the same no matter what. But if they go scan and they call a 39, we got to flip flop. But that's where they just can't call it anyway.
Receiver Jake McLaughlin enters his junior season standing at an imposing 6'5", 215 pounds, and he uses that frame to be a security blanket for the Eagles quarterbacks. It's, it's, it's something special, it's, it's a good feeling. Um, no matter if it's myself, Garrett, uh, Malik, whoever else, even the younger guys. Um, if, if one of those guys makes a play, uh, it's our job to go, go have some fun, go party in the end zone, because you know what, we've worked our tails off. Good. Good job, Key. Two's out. Two's out. These players take their cues from wide receivers coach Evan Burberry. 74 wide dragon. Snake rip. Coach Burberry's live, man. He brings the energy. He lets people know what's up. He lets you know when you're doing something wrong. He lets you know when you do something right. He, he, he brings the juice. He brings the energy. And uh, we love having him around. Hit it with speed. Hit it with speed, Tony. Oh. Ah. I always tell them, you know, it's a simple fact of a coaching-led team is a good team. You know, a player-led team is a great team. You guys have to be the, star, the, you know, the straw that starts to drink. And we got great leaders. You know, we got older guys coming in, like Garrett played a lot of football for us. Jake played a lot of football for us. Malik, they played a lot of football for us. Coach Burb, uh, he's one of the best, man. He's a guy that's, you know, it's going to harp on you. He's going to make sure you do everything perfect. Um, but then whenever you make a great play, uh, he's going to congratulate you on it, and he's going to stay on you no matter what because he's going to push you to be your best. Coach Burberry works closely with all the Eagles offensive personnel to ensure clear communication among all position groups. Even during spring practices, the Eagles coaching staff has high expectations. We've got a lot of young guys coming in that are new, they got to learn how to practice, so. And they're coming. And I, I, I'm, the more positivity you throw at them during practice of energy, the better we're going to be. We didn't start off at, the, at a high note with, with our energy, and it's just you got to have energy. you got to have good energy. Yeah. You're going to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. You're going to drop a ball. You're going to miss a block. We're going to do next play, so. But it, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Was it good enough a year ago? Do you still remember the pain from a year ago walking off that field? Do you still remember what you felt like when they took the kickoff back for a touchdown against you? The next time we're in a drill, let's go hard and do it that way. Practice that way. An eagle who exemplifies this attitude is bruising running back Larry Martin. Any good offense needs a balance between the running game and the passing game, and the Eagles have the luxury of both. Larry, powerhouse. Uh, he's downhill as all can be. Um, you can trust in that dude. If you need two yards, you want to go get him. And outside of football, even he's he's a great guy. Um, some guy that I can you know, go and talk to. Uh, he's one of my boys. Um, he, he means a lot to me, uh, and I hope that he has another great year this year. It brings everyone. Um, he's the biggest guy in the weight room, um, and because of that, we all want to be like him. We all want to be like Larry. Um, it's going to push us ultimately to get bigger in the weight room, and then uh, it's, uh, it's going to transfer to the field as well. It's, it's huge here um, through all the past players, all the past people. Um, they, de they dedicate a lot of time to this program. Um, and then us as players, we're, we're going to take a lot of pride in uh, doing what we need to do to go out win games and then make those people proud. I'm always getting on. You got to practice like it's a game. You got to do every drill like it's a game. It's got to be a game rep. You jog, if you're wearing a curl and you jog through it in practice and the routes out there, what are you going to jog when you get into 7-on-7 seven seven or a team session? Then what are you going to do when you get taken? You're going to jog. If 
I don't get put up for an SB or an Ashby or whatever they call it. A Grammy? A Grammy. You, you want to be Grammy? disappointed. Hey, we're going to try to get a Grammy. He wants to win an Ashby. He wants to win an Ashby. An Ashby. Me, me and Turnball. Look at it. This is going to get you guys the Ashby. Oh, yeah. <laughs>